Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Power Blade for the NES. We completed Sector 3 in the last video, and now we're taking on Sector 4. 4 doesn't seem any bigger or smaller. We just have to know where to go. And we have to start by going up at the beginning, and I don't know why I jumped right into that firepower there by that enemy, but... Nevertheless, we will be able to get another... Wow, I actually missed it that time. We will be able to get another Power Blade shortly, and I didn't even need to worry about that guy's bullets. They just hit the side of the platform there. Now that we're down here, we're on the other side of where we started. We need to duck whenever we take on the soldiers here. And we could jump to the right there and continue on, but I don't want to do that. Because if we don't go down here, we're not going to find the agent. So we need to be careful. We want to get over here, and thankfully this one's a little easier to avoid. And we want to go to... I believe... Well, that was interesting. Managed to get the burger to spawn down here but we do want to go down here because this is how you get to the agent this little refrigeration area I guess you could say you have to go down here first or else you're not gonna be able to do anything regarding the boss or the tape unit here so now we have sector 4's ID card and as much as I would like Actually, I do want to go in this direction. This doesn't let us continue on with the area, but... It does, however... Let us go ahead and get this, if we know what we're doing. Ah! I thought it would hit my head on the underside of the platform and not make it. This game is like a 2D Tomb Raider to me in some ways. Kind of a weird analogy, but... Kind of like the PS1 Tomb Raider games. Oh. Roy. You're not supposed to go this go back this way. Well, at least I got that out of the way, though. Need to go back this way. I should have just kept going to the left. I forgot, you can't go through the... Go back through the ice box because that's not how this works. As I was saying... This is like a 2D Tomb Raider in some ways, particularly the early PS1 games. It's like, you don't expect to make the jump when you make it off the very edge. And I did it again. Dang it. I kept thinking I had to go back down there, but now I'm just going in a circle, and then this is just embarrassing. As I was saying, this is like a 2D Tomb Raider, particularly like the early PS1 game in some ways. Because you don't expect to make the jumps, but somehow you do. And it's actually pretty interesting when that occurs. Because you actually feel some sense of satisfaction. Now we go up here, not down. Otherwise, we go in a circle again. Yes, we have to avoid all these things, but you know what? If we can take care of all these enemies, we should be good to go. Ow. And we do want to take care of these two things. Let's not go to the right just yet, because... If you go over here, you can find the other power blade. Which I will be decide to go ahead and get because, well, I took a hit. So now you know where both of the power blades eh, in this stage, as well as the access card and the... I should just do that. As well as the energy tank-like thing is. You do want to lay onto that platform and go to the right as quickly as possible there, by the way, to get over here. Now that we have everything, I should be ducking. 
it's time to make our way over to the boss. And this can be a pain in the butt if you're not careful. First of all, we go to the right, otherwise we're going to be redoing parts of the level that we don't need to redo again. Take care of the pink gorilla droid, go up here. We may have to deal with respawning enemies, that's alright. Knew you'd come back, but that's a moot point. Come on. There we go. And now I just need to wait for you to open up and I can take care of you. And that guy is not even as much of a threat because all of his attacks are going to hit that platform. Now, for the hardest part of getting around these platforms. Wait for these platforms, every single one of them, to make their way down and try to jump to the next platform from as high as possible before you make your jump. So, make sure the platform you're on is high, make sure the platform you're jumping to is low. That way, there is absolutely no way you can mess these up. Unless your button pressing skills are just off, I guess. You will have to deal with enemies, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem. And just like that, just with a little bit of patience, we're pretty much where we need to be. Also helps to have the power blade too, but you don't necessarily need it for this area. It is a great thing to have though, it makes an easy area even easier. No. You you stay away from me. Let's take care of these two things. And let's get in the door here. Sector 4 ID confirmed. Lock released. And now it's boss time. Stay in the center. Be ready to duck. Avoid the lightning bolt. Hit the enemy with a diagonal attack. You may have the jump if you're not using the power blade. Make sure you attack only once. Stay in the center. When the lightning in the background fades away, you know that the attack has been launched. Just step away a bit to avoid the lightning bolt that the bolt throw that the bolt that the boss throws. Then get back in the center and duck again. And if you can do everything in time, you can beat this boss. I still contend that Sector 3's boss is easier. Anyway, next up is Sector 5, but that will have to wait until the next video. Join me next time where we go through Sector 5 and get our fifth, almost said sixth right there, fifth tape unit. And we'll get a little closer to the end of the game. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!